Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be showing you step by step how to paint this mini landscape. We're working on a 5x7 stretch canvas that's been primed with acrylic gesso. I'm going to begin with titanium white. I'm going to use some magenta, or quinacridone violet, and light blue violet. I'm going to take one of my mop brushes and I'm just going to start blending the white first and then I'm going to pick up the magenta and start twisting my brush around, twirling it, making little circles and I'm just going to create a swirly pattern all around the canvas. Now it's really fun to use a mop brush. Now keep in mind it was dry, you don't want to get your mop brush wet uh, beforehand. Uh, it's just really fun to very lightly blend and twirl your brush around with all these colors, picking up that light blue violet and mixing it slightly into the magenta and the white. So I'm going to continue this process until I get the tones that I want and the softness that I want and then we'll move on to the next step. So once this is finished, I'm going to wash my brush out. Now I just want to hold it up for you guys just so you can see it a little bit more clearly, how pretty all those colors have blended together. I'm going to switch to a filbert brush now. This is just a medium sized filbert brush, but you can use any size that you have. I'm going to start cutting a horizon line across the bottom portion of the canvas. I'm going to pull and flick up gently. At this point I'm just trying to get a feel for what I want to create. I don't have an idea yet. Um, so sometimes pushing the paint around and creating different uh, brush strokes, taking some of the paint off, um, starts to get my ideas rolling and eventually I see a landscape and I kind of go with what I'm envisioning at the time. So in this case here, I'm just going to create kind of a curve to the land down here, making it skinnier towards the center and wider as it gets out to the edges of the canvas. I'm going to pull off that paint, leaving the white canvas underneath showing. And then I thought maybe I'd add, add a sun to this sky, um, but as I'm kind of gently scrubbing this off, it turns into a crescent moon. And I'm liking that, so I'm just going to um, leave that there and go with that. I'll just come back here and take off a little bit more paint. And I'm going to start wiggling around with my brush, creating some little clouds. Now I'm going to start taking off some paint for ripples and highlights in the water. So notice how I'm pulling the paint off and then wiping the excess off on a towel close by. You can do that and you can also wash your brush out each time if you don't want to get your towel uh, really dirty. I've just got uh, a lot of old rags so it doesn't really matter to me. So I'm just going to continue pulling this off leaving that white canvas exposed. This is really, really fun to do, um, especially if you have dark uh, layers of paint. Um, you can come back after if you do like a really dark background and you can scrape off um, gently with a brush the shape of a tree or a house or moon, sun and stars. Um, so yeah, it's something I recommend you guys trying and I'm going to do more tutorials um, with that technique in the future. I'd like to do something a lot darker. 
So I'm pulling around and wiggling with my little liner brush now. Not sure if I want to, what kind of trees I want to do, or if I want to have um, clouds in the sky. Kind of just playing around at this point. And I like this here, how I picked up that blue violet and I brought it over here. Pulling and flicking for some tree trunks. So I'm going to take some white and a flat brush. My brush is really wet and I'm just going to do a little spray for some stars. It's very delicate, all very pastel at this point until I add in my trees. So I've got my mini fan brush now, turquoise, and you can see I've got some burnt sienna on my palette as well. We'll be using that in a little bit, but I'm going to turn and pull and load my brush really well with that white and turquoise and I'm going to line my brush up right on that horizon, pull and flick up to create an instant forest and then I'm going to flick down below in the opposite direction for reflection in the water. Now you can see this minty turquoise looks so pretty with that light blue violet and magenta that we've got. Very nice color combination. So I'm going to begin on the left side now, again, pulling and flicking, making smaller little strokes towards the center of the canvas, creating perspective so that it looks like it's getting farther away. And then I'm pulling up larger brush strokes towards the edge of the canvas on either side to feel like it's more closer to us in the foreground. I'm now going to take a bit of my burnt sienna, blend that in with my turquoise. I want to add a few trees that are going to stand out a little bit more, but I don't want them to be super dark, so I'm toning that burnt sienna with a little bit of the turquoise, and we'll see how that looks. I'm going to use the corner of my brush for those smaller branches on the top, and then as I go down the tree, I'm going to use uh, the rest of my the width of my brush making them a bit bigger as I go down right to the bottom I'm going to pull and flick for a little reflection right below in the water then I'm going to do the same thing on the right side except I'm just going to do one tree and I want to have this one on a slant I'm now going to take a little bit of turquoise without washing my brush and tap that over some of the branches here just to get more of that minty turquoise uh, color to pop out again. So I'll add it on the top and below and a little bit on the horizon line too, the land, for some moss and some grass and just some little foliage that we've got going on back there. I'm going to switch over to my liner brush now and use straight burnt sienna, add a little bit more contrast and shadow right here underneath the trees, pulling and flicking gently towards the center of the canvas but I'm not going all the way across. Got my flat brush now and I'm going to pull and flick for a gentle reflection in the water and then up above to get those small trees back again, helping create that distance and perspective that we want.
I'm just going to wash my brush out now. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more of that burnt sienna um, just for a little bit more contrast here. The trees are looking a bit too faded, so I'm going to just balance this out and add a little bit more dark tones in here. Okay, now with a clean brush, I'm going to take some white paint and I'm just going to soften a little bit in the sky, blending some of those stars out just to show a little bit more uh, smoothness in the sky and overall just softening everything. I'm going to add a few little reflections and ripples in the water again, just bringing in a little bit more light. And as I finish up this painting, I want to thank you guys so much again for joining me. I hope that you liked watching this today. And try it yourself. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And I'll have a full list of all the colors and brushes, the canvas we're using today, in the description below as well. Uh, as well as links to my Patreon, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Bye!